patience is a very vital aspect of our walk with God. Being patient and waiting on God for His will and choice for you is a very essential part of our life. It always pays to stick and submit ourselves to the will of God and not rush into our choice of a spouse because we feel something emotionally for a person. It is also true that it is only in God's will that we can find peace and joy. But many times a lot of persons have been held in captivity by their so-called will of God and do not walk in the blessings that God has prepared for them maritally because of the fear of missing the will of God concerning who to marry. Many are in a condition and situation where they are trapped by their so-called search for the will of God, whereas God wants them to take the step of courage to settle down with the very person that they are confused about. There is a thing as laziness when it comes to seeking the will of God. A lot of exhibits say that they are waiting on God and praying when they should settle down and just take the next step concerning the person that they are attracted to. People always find it hard to believe that it is just wisdom that they need when it comes to their marital choice. Many think what they need is more money or more people that can meet the requirements into their wishes, but that is not the case. No matter how much you have financially, it can't substitute for you taking steps to settle down. Some have met the person that they love and they perceive that it is the right person for them. But they keep procrastinating their steps to get married, all because they have been looking at the natural circumstances around them. They are looking at their bank account to determine when they will marry the person that they love, or they are feeling within themselves that they cannot enter into the relationship because they are not sure if it will work out or last because of the past experiences. The reason why you keep having repeated experiences of broken relationships is that you never sought the wisdom of God. What you need is wisdom to settle down and know how to go about maintaining that relationship and discerning if a certain person is the right person or not. Wisdom is the principal thing and this is why again and again God keeps commanding us all to get wisdom and get understanding because when you have wisdom, you will not make foolish decisions. You will minimize errors and mistakes. Just like Solomon, when you walk in wisdom, you will be able to judge rightly. And this is what we need when it comes to choosing the right partner. Because not everyone is the right person for you. Also, do not be deceived by the facial expression and beauty of anyone. Beauty does not translate to compatibility. When you marry those who meet and love at first sight, because of their physical figure, you might be led astray and rejected in your future. Waiting on God and your prayers are already enough. God is saying to you to settle down and receive wisdom so that you can know what to do and how to condition yourself to settle down with that person that you have been in a relationship with for so long. It is so annoying to hear that some people and girlfriends for many years as much as 9 years and do not think that they should take the step to marry. And when you ask them why, they will say it is because they are waiting on God and praying for the voice of God. For many years now, you have been praying for the voice of God to confirm if you should marry a person when the person has already met all the requirements that God has set in His Word. The person is emotionally mature physically mature and financially mature, yet you are still praying and waiting on God to say yes to you. What you need is wisdom to position yourself, especially for women. You meet a woman who is off age and has reached the age of marriage, and you ask them why have you not found a life partner, and they say that a lot of men have been coming around but there is no one that God has spoken to them about. This is why people suffer unnecessarily, because they keep relating everything 
that is happening and the judgment that they are to take to God and Him only. Some of them even go weird in the name of seeking God, and they never find anyone that is okay, because they think that they are in a certain standard and class that no one can attain. This is a lack of wisdom. There is a part of life that can be attended to by the power of God, but there are also other parts of life which are the major aspects of our lives that can only be attended by the wisdom of God. When we do not embrace wisdom, we will not have a lasting relationship. Wisdom is not intelligence, and it is not something that you get from acquiring knowledge from books. It is something that is given by God. The Bible says that the mouth of God gives understanding, but it is from God that wisdom comes. When you are looking at your present situation, or financial level to be able to settle down and marry, you will not make any major steps and moves in your life, especially when you are a man. You need the wisdom to choose the right person. You need the wisdom to be able to maintain your relationship with the right one that you have found and you also need the wisdom to be able to settle down and start your family. There is so much that wisdom will do for you when you embrace it. Waiting on God is not supposed to be an excuse to be lazy and weak. The supernatural is a combination of the super and natural, which means that there is always a natural side of things and there is the super side of things. The supernatural needs a natural element for it to manifest when you do not understand this, your faith will be on superstition and you will be thinking that you are walking in the perfect will of God. How many persons have missed the will of God because they thought they were being spiritual, not knowing that it was a lack of wisdom? People have become over spiritual that they have missed what God has planned in their relationship. The major things that make a relationship work are not what people usually think. People think that if I am always telling the person about serving God and worshiping God, that it is automatically enough to prove that they love their spouse. That is just deceiving yourselves. You do not prove your love to someone by praying with them. You prove your love to someone by making practical wisdom steps like using romantic words which God is not against. You can also show your love for someone by giving gifts and this is endorsed in the word of God. God has portioned a large part of his counsel for you when it concerns your relationship in His wisdom. When you have the wisdom of God, you will be able to make use of time and manage it well, even down to your finances. A partner that does not have wisdom will never make wise planning for their future in their home. This is why they can't settle down, because they just think that everything that they need to settle down will just come automatically from heaven. That is not true. You have to make wise planning for your life. You have things that are in the scale of preferences for you so that you know what to prioritize and what you want to say when your spouse brings up a decision and it is also the wisdom of God that will not give up your moral standard because of feelings and emotions. When you do not walk by the wisdom of God, you will have a lot of things to suffer when it concerns your relationship. This is why God tells us that instead of praying for material things, people in this relationship later find out that they are so wrong. You should pray for wisdom every day when you wake up because this is the only thing you need to be able to settle down with the person you love. Marrying a person is not a function of having millions of dollars in your credit account but it is just an application of wisdom. A person who does not have wisdom will never know that before they agree to spend their life with someone, they must have a spiritual covering from their parents because it is their parents that know everything about them and will be able to properly discern between the right and wrong. Maybe the reason why you are still single is that you never took the decisions that make for the married person 
you are still waiting for the right time, thinking it is a spiritual thing for you to do. So, but God is saying that I am not going to speak to you for a go-ahead, if that is what you want, but I am going to teach and lead you to profit, so you can have a fruitful and long-lasting marriage.